A middle-aged couple in Omaha, Nebraska, faced a common but difficult dilemma in 1965. How to successfully plan for retirement. Dorothy and Maya Kripke had saved carefully and received a modest inheritance, putting them far ahead of their colleagues in terms of retirement planning. By that year, their funds had grown to over $67,000, which, when adjusted for inflation, would be roughly $650,000 today. Their principal worry was keeping and developing their nest egg so that it would be available when they retired in the next decade or two. Dorothy offered her husband an easy answer after months of debate and stress. Maya, invest the money with your friend, Warren. This acquaintance was none other than Warren Buffett, 35. He was a neighbor who had already established a positive reputation in the community as a skilled money manager. They had no idea Dorothy and Maya Kripke had come across a man who would go down in history as one of the greatest financial investors. Buffett, often known as the Oracle of Omaha, would go on to run an investment firm, Berkshire Hathaway, with about $500 billion in assets. Buffett became acquainted with the Kripkes through informal bridge games and holiday gatherings. Maya was hesitant to invest their life savings with a young, up-and-coming money manager. He was concerned that it would strain their connection and questioned the appropriateness of merging work and personal relationships. Buffett's minimum investment criterion at the time was $150,000, making approaching him with less than half that amount appear unrealistic. Dorothy's perseverance won through, and despite Meyer's three-year opposition, he eventually reached out to Buffett. Buffett accepted without hesitation to manage their finances, underscoring his wish to continue their friendship even in the face of prospective losses. Their partnership flourished, and Buffett's business grew enormously over the next three decades. Parallel to this, the Kripka's initial $67,000 investment increased quickly. With a small amount of money, we got in fairly early. It exploded like an atomic bomb, Maya said of their financial situation. As their fortune rose, the Kripkes went from millionaires to multimillionaires. By the mid-1990s, their $67,000 had surged to more than $25 million, which, adjusted for inflation, would be almost $40 million today. Berkshire Hathaway Inc.'s stock price ranged between $20,000 and $40,000 per share over that time period. Assuming they possessed 833 shares at a price of $30,000 per share, the Kripka's net worth in the mid-1990s was $25 million. If they had kept these shares until Dorothy died in September 2000, their value would have more than doubled to $50 million. With Berkshire stock selling at $215,000 per share at the time of Meyer's death in May 2014, their 833 shares would have been worth $180 million. Today, Someone with 833 Berkshire Hathaway shares would have a wealth of around $394,222,356, nearly $400 million, for a $67,000 investment. These examples demonstrate the compounding power of long-term investing. Finding the appropriate stocks with significant long-term growth potential and then believing in one's investing thesis can result in extraordinary long-term returns. This couple practiced the time value of money method by buying and holding for the long term. They avoided the messy and volatile ups and downs of frequent trading and trying to time the market. Buying and holding is investing but frequently trading is speculation. Did you learn anything from this couple's example? Leave a comment below about what you learned compared to your own investing style. Take care and remember that your money matters.